There is a new plugin called Console Variable Editor in Unreal Engine 5 Preview version. It brings some quality of life improvements when using console variables in the Unreal Editor. Just to be clear, this plugin is not in the UE5 Early Access version. I'll quickly show you how it works. So firstly, we need to enable the plugin. So we'll go to Edit, Plugins, and search for Console Variable Editor and enable this so i have already enabled it but if you haven't enable it and restart the engine in order to access the siva editor you can either go to window and click on console variables here and it opens a new window here or you go to the content browser i've made a new folder here if you right click and go to console variable editor and make a new console variable collection. Let's name it. And if you double click the new collection that you've made, the same window pops up. You can place this window anywhere you want. You can click on the add console variable button to add new CVAS to your collection. So let's add that FPS and it's that GPU and maybe foliage LOD distance scale. Note that if you click on a variable like this, nothing happens. I'm not sure if this is intended, but currently you have to navigate with your keyboard arrows to the one you want and press enter. And then it's the arrow key, go down and directional and press enter. And here's the new CVAR in the editor. Also, when you're adding new CVARs, you can hover your mouse over any variable to see the description and what the values represent. And after adding a variable, you can hover your mouse over each one to see the description as well. This is really awesome in my books because before you had to type a question mark after a CVAR in the command window or go to this website to see the description. After you've added your desired CVARs to your collection, you can save this as a preset and use the preset to load the same set later. Important note, when you add new CVARs in this window, it doesn't save your collection automatically. If you close the CVAR editor window before saving your list as a preset, even if you try to load the same collection, it's not there. So you just have to remember to save the list as a preset before closing the window. Then you can load the saved collection after closing the window. So I think the benefits of this plugin is quite obvious if you've been using CVARs in UE. But for anyone who doesn't know, you had to manually check which CVARs were active or inactive or what the values were from the command window. And you had to search or type in CVARs every time you wanted to change the values. Now you can do this much more easily in this window. You can turn on and turn off stuff with the click. You can type in values like this. Or you can just turn off everything instantly. Apparently, Epic Games is looking to integrate this with Movie Render Queue. It would be awesome if you could load a desired SIVA collection in the Movie Render Queue SIVA section, so somewhere on this page. If you would like to know what console variables I found to be useful in UE5, please refer to this render testing video I uploaded recently. If you found the video useful, please consider giving a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.